స్టార్ట్ చేస్తున్నాడు గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఎవ్రీబడి సో ఐఎమ్ అకాడమిక్ కౌన్సిలర్ ఎస్ విశ్వాస్ టుడే ఎంఎంపిహెచ్ జీ జీరో సెవెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాంపెన్సేషన్ అండ్ రివర్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ రివ్యూ టు సో టుడే యాక్చువల్లీ ట్రై టు కవర్ ద బ్లాక్ నెంబర్ త్రీ అండ్ బ్లాక్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ బోర్ ద బ్లాక్ ఐ విల్ కవర్ యాజ్ ఎ రివ్యూ so in the review as i in my earlier session i said already that uh, the units whatever the units are there an important uh, part of this particular that unit that we have to again uh, clarify try to give you the concept and uh, some detailing which are uh, uh, very much required to clear the concept and as well as for the uh, from the exam point of view so that whatever the gaps are there uh, that can be filled up so block number 3 that is a compensation management where uh, it consists there are four units unit number 7 8 9 and 10 uh, where it has been discussed about the job evaluation then internal equity what are the oath and then pay structures external equity and the pay surveys how to survey the pay before finalizing the uh, structures then institutional mechanisms for the conference what are the institution company institutions rule and regulation norms uh, laws different acts so all these are contains in the uh, block number 3 and subsequently i will discuss the block number 4 also so that is the reward management where in number 11 12 and 13 that is reward systems incentives schemes allowances participants and benefits of this so this is the unit concept what are the block 3 and block 4 so now i have to go uh, for the job evaluations so first try to uh, why the job evaluation is needed what are the methods and systems analysis part description even in the specification how to prepare the specifications linking the wages how to fixation of the wages and implementing the job evaluation the unit sevens are again further uh, descriptions are like this so now the basically the employees gets compensation um and the recommendation or whatever it is for his contributions or services is rendered uh, to accomplish the jobs because the uh, employee are working for money basically he has given some of the jobs he has given some effort for this for the specified time and the job assigned and he has completed the jobs in turn he will get some of the money so or compensations what about it is. so that things so that's why the evaluation is very much required where you have to analyze the things he is really uh, he is getting the money as per his contributions or not somehow it should be justified so taylor's uh, scientific management where he says the right man for the right job as we know is absolutely the statement is very correct and the second statement he is saying the right pay for the right job so both the statements are uh, supplementary each other basically you see the right man for the right part job so definitely the expectations will be both way the expectation will be there company will think yes this is the right person so what about the job will be assigned here yes, for the estimated uh, calculated output he decided definitely will be contributed that much of work and accordingly he will, 
into pay. Vice versa in other way, from the employee side, he is thinking, I am doing my best jobs, I am capable of these things, so I am perform the everything, so I am eligible for this money or this job, and what about the compensation, I am the right person. So these things, so that's why the both statements are very correctly, uh, as on date also, uh, Taylor has written long back now, still it is very effective. So, so determining the your uh, relative equity or what are the worth of the jobs, so determination is very much equal. So it's a part of the job evaluation, job evaluation jobs to determining the uh, worth of the jobs, equity of the jobs, um, so that it can be uh, fitted to the particular employee. Basically, the your job evaluations is a scientific, uh, a qualitative and quantitative methods basically for determining the uh, relative equity or the jobs, and definitely that has to be compared with the other organizations also because the other organizations how much they are paying for their employees. So that thing has to be compared. They, uh, for whatever the, we are paying in our, suppose as an owner of the company, as an employer of the company, I have to ensure whatever the compensations are getting from my employer, employees, are really it is a marketable. I mean, that's for the market values. So the job evaluation, uh, it helps, basically it helps to eliminate the wage equalities, inequalities. So if any inequalities, then by this uh, determination, determining this process, you can uh, judge it. Uh, rather I can say it, it can uh, ensure, you can ensure yes, I am paying whatever the money or compensations are uh, rightly. To establish the so to establish the um, so evaluation helps to eliminate the wages of the your advocates and to establish sound salary systems. So it will give you some sound salary systems. Yes, uh, everything are okay. So uh, what I am talking that is the, what is the purpose of the job evaluation because. Job evaluation gives you the idea that you are in the right path. Now, job analysis. Job, uh, it is a breaking down. What are the tasks or jobs? It's a breakdown in a micro levels and see um, and the findings and the process and the, that process. Are, yes, what are the operational? operations and the finally uh, so that you can uh, what are the elements that you can break up then you can pinpointing where the area are to be modified or are to be required for the further actions so that's what the job analysis are required now the descriptions so descriptions of the base of the job analysis because until and unless you have performed the uh, job analysis, you cannot uh, fix the descriptions. So, descriptions is basically the, um, you can say, the, uh, what are the output of the analysis and input for the descriptions. So, job description part, until and uh, unless you finish the job analysis, you cannot describe. So, that's why, uh, and at, the, at the time of job, job descriptions, you can split up the things, you can break up the things. A job specification is after that, because job specification you regard again, basically the statement, because suppose you have job advertisements, this much height is required, arrow for example, six feet high, 
she will be a bachelor, uh, she will be unmarried, and this uh, 12 qualifications should be there. Some criteria has been fixed. So, where it has already some of these statements are there, so that is a specification, it is specified. Weight should be this much, height should be this much, where you are specifying the things. So, that's why it is a specifications. Then, uh, job grading. Other part is job grading, you have to grade the jobs, ranking of the jobs. Then your job classifications. So where you have to grouping, you have to uh, for the grouping of this thing, you have to classify the jobs. Then uh, assessment. Job assessment is also necessary because um, based on this you can, uh, monetary values you can identify. Yes, this is the monetary value. So assessment part is also there. So all together, this is a, is a all of the components I am saying that is a job evaluations. So within the job evaluations, we are making a job analysis, then job description, job specifications, grouping, and your uh, assessment. This is all other part of the job evaluations. Now coming to um, so it is the approach for basically the job evaluations the approach. Um, for the better uh, rationalizations, the better rationalizations in pay and wages structure. So when you are making the structure of the uh, your pay structures, so it will help. And there you can uh, rationalize the things. So it will be at par. Uh, internal problems will not be there, and outside uh, external um, uh, difficulties are also not coming. So that way it is a very much different. Then primary objectives. What are the primary objectives? That is the first things you have to establish the wage uh, levels. Then your uh, new jobs for create, create some certification for the new jobs also. Then facilitate the wage negotiations. You can negotiate the facilitations if any something gaps are there or some modification is required still then you can uh, have a, some negotiations. Secondary objectives is there to determine the uh, qualities because the your uh, job specification where the you have to specify it, definitely the quality will be uh, embedded because based on this you are deciding. Analysis the wage rates then for the train the new supervisors is also a, the secondary part and then working conditions what type of working conditions is required that is also we can secondary part this is all the secondary part of the what evaluations now the methods of the systems now I come to the system there some of the conventional systems is also there and uh, within this conventional, conventional system there are some of the systems that is the ranking systems, grading systems, this part are your non-qualitative, non-quantitative and the, the factor comparison systems and the your Point systems, you know that the point systems is all are your uh, uh, quantitative systems, quantitatives, and one is non quantitative, another is your quantitative. So first two, that is the ranking and grading, are non quantitative, and your factor comparisons and point systems are your quantitative systems. What will be the advantage? Because if the systems, if we implement, what will be the advantage? The advantage is either linking with the wage fixations. That advantage, if we, the method, through this method, you have uh, calculated all these things. The system will give a uh, help for linking the fixation of the jobs. And the pricing of the job also, you can determine. Now coming to implementing, the implementing job evaluations, 
uh, in the last one that is independent of the job evaluations. That is the job evaluations, it is uh, basically the idea. Idea should come from the your uh, either from the top management and from the member of the senior management. They have to give us some ideas uh, during the process of implementing process. And the personal manager uh, who takes the initiative from the HR, from the human resource side, personal manager, he has to take some initiative for that. There are three alternatives. We can, for the company uh, the employees, another through this, they can perform the things, implementing the things. The employees are uh, competent enough, they can do it. Or otherwise, it can happen for the consultant. The consultant, consultant will do uh, uh, the action in the implementing part. Or otherwise, jointly carried out by the company and or company employees and consultant. So, as a joint venture, also these things are can be implemented. So it is a, um, what are things are needed, very much needed. That things the management interest is very much needed. But that initiatives and the uh, ideas are, or other than like care, care for these things, initiatives, whatever the things are should come from the top level, when they are with the top management. Here, union is also a part of this implementations. You have to involve the union also because their initiative is also very much cheaper so that they can further motivate the uh, employees and workmans to, to complete this, this uh, systems. And advanced planning is very much needed uh, for the implementation because uh, I can refer some of the things because it has um, observed that, that the services throughout the world, most of the projects are uh, those, those some of the projects, most of the projects failed uh, due to wrong implementations and not proper planning. Because of that, most of the projects failed. Even though all everybody are competent, methods are fine, people have worked a lot, survey has done, everything is fine. But the implementation process, what the planning was not there, because because of that fault, all the projects, everybody has suffered, it may be delayed the projects or maybe unsuccessful. So, and, and even other way, it has observed and services the worldwide, most of the projects completed in time with the quality because of the good implementations. So, should we keep in mind the implementation is a very important part. Now, uh, the commitment, uh, the committee they suggested the things. So, first things, uh, I'm talking about the implementation, how to fulfill the things, how to uh, uh, prepare for this implementing process for success, uh, for successful. So, first things, uh, uh, the degree of skill has to be enhanced. People should work with a very stringent, uh, strained work is required so that they can have the confidence can be built up. Experience is involved because the senior persons, experienced persons should be in the team, is a team leader. Training is required for the implementation process. The before that, he should have a prior to start the implementing process. He should have a good train. Then responsibilities and understanding. Definitely, he has to undertake, before undertake, that responsibility of to take, yes, I can do it, I can perform it. That type of uh, undertaking is required.
Now, um, let me go forward. Now, go forward. Unit number seven. Some of the assessment questions are there. Where the questions may be, what is the internal duty and how it is relevant? Then job evaluations is a continuous process. You have to elaborate the things, explain the things. Then procedure of the job evaluations also you have to highlight it. And during the procedure of evaluation, everything will come: your job analysis, your description, your specification, your grouping. Everything will come up. You have to write down all these things. The name of the various method of the systems, as I already discussed, what are the methods of the job evaluations, and advantage and disadvantage also you have to highlight. Explain the job analysis and the job descriptions, and separately separate questions will come. And short note could be the time span of the discussion method and the decision band method, job assessment, point rating method. All these type of questions are now. Now coming to unit number eight. There are the pay structures. The pay structures uh, where the consist of the wages, salary, and pay packets, basic wage components of the pay package, dearness allowance component, incentives, and the bonus, statutory bonus allowances, fringe benefits, social security understanding, and train by pay packages. All these part are your. Uh, unit number there is a uh, consider the pay structures. So now I little bit elaborate the uh, small things so that uh, uh, the clear the concept of the things. Pay packets or pay structure. Why this is minutely have to um, do it because the structure before that lot of exercise. Why am I going for this exercise for pay pay, pay structures? Idea is to retain the uh, employees and to motivate them so that they can happily work in the company. So that is that objectives are to keep, keep in mind always. Find a uh, innovative approaches. So innovative approaches are very much needed. Then performance oriented and uh, so that it can be a more attractive. Wage, pay, wage payment uh, made to the labor so that the living wages should be at par with the market so that they can live happily. Um, they can be able to, purchasing capacity should be there. The differentials in the basic wages are to be eliminated. You have to compare the things, what are the Differentials of the pay package and uh, what are the discrepancy or any discriminations that can be sorted out. Some criteria to be set it because without the criteria, there is no end for the things. So, you, have, you should have it based on your budget, based on your nature of job, company, uh, finance, and everything. Considering the, all these things, you have to try. Before the going for this process, structural process, should have some criteria. Yes, this is the limit, this is the minimum limit, this is the maximum limit, you can uh, do it. And based on this, you have to fix all these things. So, committee will suggest all these things the, the, uh, the how much should be there and what type of structure should be. And another uh, thing is the payment by the result because it's a PBR, it's a direct linking, it should be a direct linking to the workers. Uh, because uh, it will give a more uh, attractive, more, more attractive to the employees. Because when you are getting a direct everything, so then it will be more motivated. That, uh, that is the wage incentives because the individual performance. Based on this, you have to give in some of the reward or compensation packages. So then uh, you will be more productive. Idea is to your employee should be skilled enough, product, product, uh, productivity uh, to be increased, and at the same time, the health and other parameters are to be uh, considered. 
So um, the group performance is also to be seen because some of the employees maybe individually may not be so much effective, but when you are putting the roof, maybe you'll be more productive. So that things are also important. So group performance are uh, to see how to use up to the things and things can be uh, done. So managerial incentives plans are also to be repeated. So commissions on a profit percentage, what are the commissions to be here? That has to be fixed. Then the rates, concessional rates, bonus are also one of the important uh, in cash, basically the bonus in cash or maybe sometimes uh, discount coupons, company are giving as a coupon, uh, coupon you can go and purchase the things or this company you can go for some holidays or enjoy the holiday, holiday homes, bar, hotel, uh, investment, one other way you can give it. Then uh, payment of the bonus act uh, 1965, there are some that is fixed, there are 8.3%, the maximum is 20%, because the bonus, as you say, more than 20% you cannot uh, claim or employ cannot be given. So that is the but minimum already taken care by the government uh, regulations. So there is already same, the minimum bonus should be this, uh, and below cannot hit. Maximum whatever as per your uh, company profit you can provide. Again, it is subject to 20%. Ceiling is basically the ceiling is 20%. Is Garcia um, of the reward, the bonuses has become more integrated part of the pay package. So, Is Garcia bonus, all these are basically the integrated part of the compensation package nowadays. Allowances are of different allowances are there. There's the French benefits like this. All these things, the allowances, French benefits to attract and to retain and for motivations. So there are th three things, three approaches are should be there. Your employee should be uh, motivated, should be retaining the organizations and uh, can be attract more to do the work happily. So in this, uh, in the competitive age, in this competitive age, the French benefits are um, to suit the possibilities and needs because now most of the companies are uh, observed not only in, in our India, globally. So it really needs the French benefits, they are increasing rather than the basic pay. Basic structure is all payments, structure is same, remain same, but they are increasing are enhancing the French benefits, basically some sort of uh, payment all these things. The reason is uh, in, you can stop also, but basic salary structure frequently cannot change it because there is a lot of process at the time taking jobs, four years, five years after that the pay structure can be changed or uh, in the government sector with the 10 years. So structural changes drastically uh, every year it is not possible. So that's why there are some French benefits are there, increment or other facilities can be enhanced based on the some percentage of the, your basics. So it is uh, fluctuating when I mean uh, maybe sometimes it is stopped, no increment is given by the company, when French benefits are not, uh, with the short, uh, short period they can stop, again they can revive it. So this is the way the process is going on. So pay, uh, there are basically the three components, like the basic, DA, CCA, uh, sorry, basic, then your, uh, and part of your second part is with the allowances because your, the DA, CCA, and then what are the parts, car parking, car parts, all things. And third part is the third component is your incentives. There's a bonus and the overtime. These are all are okay, you can categorize any C part. So Taylor's again given another statement. Fair pay for fair work. So now in this during this discussion review, uh, 
uh, review of sessions, we have seen that Taylor has given a three statements. First statement he has given right person for the right jobs. Second is a right pay for the right jobs. Third is saying the fair pay uh, for the fair work. So this three statements are very really important. Uh, Taylor has given. This is the principle of the Taylor's principles. So output expected from the employee is estimated and uh, the norms of the output are determined. Now see the survey. There is another part of their surveys there. That the survey is very important because um, without survey, uh, you cannot fix all these things. So that's why what are the difficulties uh, getting the or, or retain the your efficient workforce? So you should have some survey, maybe personal personal contact or through these agencies. You have to survey the things. You have to uh, collect the input data, input data. So all the data has to be collected, and finally you have to go for the uh, structures. So that's why the survey is very much important uh, before giving all the allowances, uh, French benefit, whatever the things. So, so uh, the survey report is very important. And uh, basically survey annually you can do it for every, most of the company, five, five to seven years in between, uh, five years or maybe after 10 years, survey is required because there you can output or coming lot of ideas, survey report will, uh, I mean, it will be very transparent. You can easily take the decisions also, what to do, where the action is required immediately, short term basis or long term basis, everything are, can be uh, evaluated. <clears throat> So that's why uh, that survey can be done by the professional bodies um, or by the consultants or sometimes the employment uh, uh, the employment agencies are there. They have already published some of the surveys. Based on this, maybe the similar type of survey, maybe the other company has already contacted, it has published. You can take it as a reference also sometimes if you are not immediately uh, want to not immediately want to put a money for that that budgetary constraints are there so you can uh, take a reference of the other company if similar type of thing so there are so many ways uh, you have to you see the idea is to get the inputs before the structures and uh, some institutional mechanism is there so you have to go for where the it has been defined some of the things and through this collective bargaining between the employer and the employees they can fix it undoubtedly union is in between you have to take the confidence of the union also that this is the structures pay structures or whatever the benefits we are likely to be given what is your opinion you tell me or you can take their advice or ideas if the ideas are good um, somewhere the negotiations you can do it and rectify the um, structures and uh, apart from this some wage board is there they have to take some approval also from the wage boards they have a some they have to scrutinize it uh, give a approval also if any disputes in the wage disputes raised by the union that can be also sorted out standards are created because uh, to govern the labor uh, relations and uh, most of the see the government sector the two third of the uh, government uh, organizations are even including including defense also uh, they are not uh, allow or not you know, for the uh, collective bargaining process because there are government directives, government decisions are the committee, the recommendations are to be implemented for the structuring the things. 
their uh, some sort of bargaining process, negotiations, or you know, based on the report and committee will give us a survey. One agency has given, and it will be most of the government sector like this. When the private is different, different the pay structures or benefits, whatever the things they have to take a confidence in the unions, collective bargaining process, unions and the workers and things, and maybe the labor agencies, labor court, what are the standards and norms are there. So, compiling all these things, you have to, then only you can implement it. So, pay commissions, uh, pay commissions recommendations for the government sectors. The government has set up their own pay, pay commissions. Uh, I think uh, seven uh, commissions are basically the under, under the process. Wage Board Act, Act is there 1931. There are fair wage committees are there. They have to decide. Then, educations. There are infinite disputes coming uh, from the arbitration cases or other the things, the labor and their management cases are there that also can be decided through the uh, your uh, arbitrations process. It is a compulsory also. So this is the way uh, uh, block. So now you see there are some of the uh, structure assessment questions are there. Where the, how do you, but the concept of the wages, and explain the concept of the wages. Why is there, the dearness allowance is integral part of the pay package. Explain how it is administered. Define the differentiate between the bonus and the fringe benefits. That clarify the things. Because bonus act, there are some fixed amount of profit. There are some ranges given, minimum and maximum. But fringe benefit is defined, this is flexible. How they are linked to social security? Now that is also another question. Subject. So, what are the hazards of the industrial life? Explain the examples or some troubles. And what is hazard systems? How much? That is another competition part. Is this. Because contingency uh, amount has to be provided by the company if any something is come. Some war is coming or maybe the, some of the environmental issues, uh, climatic changes, a lot of issues are there, earthquake, but then this is all it will affect in the uh, employees also, in the same way. So now uh, external equity the components already have decided, we already discussed, pay survey also we have discussed. Now some of the question there, what is the wages of the survey, explain the rationality, which surveys, is all are available in the study material, in study material, the question survey is also there, answer is also you have to look at, in the particular units you will get it. Uh, then uh, wage boards, adjuvants, all of these are, I have already touched upon, the questions will be like this, discuss uh, why the interest issues cannot be, discuss the relative merits and demerits of the different methods, collective bargaining is uh, superior to other methods of the wage determination, why, because the collective bargaining there, Involvement of all, and there maybe it will take some time taking jobs, but ultimately, one fine day, the decision will be the enormous decisions can be taken by the help of all. So, collective ideas or collective bargaining, the process is very lengthy. Sometimes, the one meeting may not be sufficient. So, but however, uh, it is the Good, everybody are in win situations. Union is also happy, management is also happy, which board is also happy. So, this is the uh, process, that's why it is a superior method because nowhere any defaults or any ambiguity or any conflict will not be there. Now, coming to block number four, uh, 
reward management as i already discussed about the need for the uh, systems because to maintain the same thing because the changing scenario because of the changing scenario job situation are changing and the environment is also changing so that's why some reward systems are needed the need for various types of analysis are required the fresh entries are the component uh, should be a part of the decision package and focus should be the fresh entries um, uh, more motivated uh, so that employee can retain in the organizations and the system there are, there are some linked systems and non linked non linked systems are basically CPI based on the consumer things. Uh, the CPI basis and some of the companies are not following the linked linked uh, systems are basically uh, follow the CPI means consumer price index they're following whatever the market. Inflations are there based on these. They have to fix some of the amount. Maybe the four percent or three percent of the BC. That much amount has to be uh, given as a benefits to compensate the market so that employee can live in the uh, society. In the social systems. I mean, it HRA also to be you know, based on the your uh, location. HRA has decided by the based on the location where he is metros or the suburban or undeveloped villages where so depending on the location HRA has been decided. Uh, LDC, LTA, link travel allowance is also given. This is an opportunity to visit with the family, they can enjoy the uh, things and they can rejuvenate uh, for the for the work and they can come again and recharge the all these things. So it is uh, basically uh, rather than I can say the re-energized the things. So that's why the LTA uh, provisions are there. Some of the company are giving the washing allowance also for because the workers are uh, working in such a environment where the dust is there. So their crop will be um, dusty and uh, health hazard is also there. So because of that, the allowances has to be given so that they can wash it out and come in the duties or you can provide some uniform also uh, from the company sites. Shift allowance also given because the rotations are going on. Uh, basically, the three shifts are uh, advisable. Three shifts are going on in the morning shift, evening shift and the night shift. Uh, that is the way the hours will be distributed so that in between some gaps will be there. Uh, cash handling allowance is also another issues are there because th those who are in the cash sections they are always chances of error will be there uh, maybe the wrong uh, currencies are uh, tiered all these things are coming sometimes they have to pay their loan so some uh, risks and responsibility responsible job for the cash handling to motivate them some allowance has to be provided then uh, lunch allowance or canteen that has to be provided. Then your uh, so many allowances process the education allowance. I'm just uh, list out the some of the things. There is the under uh, underground allowances because those are in the mining section or somewhere working. A special allowances should be there. Given. Outstation allowance is also there. They are from the family the hill areas or some other areas. They go for the work uh, maybe the short time, short periods. So allowance should be there. Survey allowance, most of the executive, top executives are getting the survey allowance also so that they can peacefully work, they can devote the more time to the work. So that's why the survey allowance is given. Survey can take care of all these things, other activities. Then city compensatory allowance, again, uh, based on the city, what time allowance, uh, even though the what time are not encouraged, it cannot be encouraged to do this. Uh, in the water process, it is sometimes not as advisable. But however, if you need it for the quick productions and to 
uh, demand for the marketing side or the market side, you have to supply more and more product and maybe what time is required. So that, that case, uh, you have to pay some money um, for the OT. As per the rule, double. Whatever the daily charges, uh, per hour charges, routine charges, but in the what time cases, it will be double. The charges will be double. French when you have holiday homes, then your medical facilities, subsidize uh, uh, your um, subsidized meals, then your car subsidies, low interest loans, then children's education loans, these are the things are the part of your French benefits. Then incentive schemes are there. Uh, now again and some of the assessment questions are there. The type of balances, then the, explain the system of payment of DA, what is French benefits, discuss the different type of French benefits, you have to is a part of your unit number 11. Now, now I am coming to incentive schemes where the bonus, as I say, the bonus shall be 8.3% of the salary. Incentive schemes are also there. That the dividend, basically, incentive scheme the important dividend. What are the profits for a particular financial year? The company will declare this much uh, uh, dividend. Again, it's just in the percentage wise to be declared, and all the employees will get it. And in between, some stimulate, it will stimulate the things so that you know, they can uh, work more and they can also be part of this company. Then, stock options are also there. And, uh, Profit sharing, you know, as I said, then stock options are also there because you can off, uh, offer for the employees for their stock and this share, whatever the shares. And when this profit company will profit, definitely they are part of this share money also, they are also given. And they can have a, uh, they can buy the uh, stock as per the uh, standard rates. Uh, or maybe in the some, sometimes the uh, company is giving uh, some discount also. And okay, you can purchase these uh, shares uh, in a discount rate. So that type of benefits are there. It will basically attract the employees so that they can retain. Ultimately, the aim is to how to retain the employees and uh, specifically skilled employees. So benefits uh, are the incentive schemes, so there's an attraction. Idea is attraction, retention, motivations, uh, financial uh, participations, basically. Then the, some commitment, they have should have some commitment, grow the commitment. Then common ideology between the employer and employees. So ideology should be clear. There should not be any 100 degree opposite. So degrees, the angle should be closer, closer to the management ideology and the workers ideology or mindset should be the common and the right part because if the both the directions are in the same directions then it will be action will be more the force will be more if the direction is opposite or some angle formations employees are thinking in that way employees thinking in that way other way so that if the angle is increased means difference will be created that will be not aligned so idea is so should be in at par or both all are in the same directions then only they can reach the, achieve the goal of the target of the company organizations and the profit margin will be also to be increased so that is that's why the management uh, and especially the part of the HR they have to motivate the uh, employees uh, every section should have some nodal officers. They have to interact with the HR and what are the strategy should be there to motivate the employees always. Not a one day meeting or conduct or some of the seminar does no, it will not affect. Any continuous basis you have to weekend or some alternate day you have to interact with these things. If required, HR person should go to the workers and the, and the they are takes on. They have to go there in the flow itself, visit there and discuss the things. What are the problems they have faced and that has to be identified and that inputs has to be gathered and highlight to the management. This is the thing going on. Only the session, training, product, 
does do that. There's a routine process which are allowed is uh, that part is gone. Now we have to interact more and more with the employees. If you really uh, come off or develop your, uh, your company and individual development. So some of questions are like rational payment, bonus act, then your uh, stock options are becoming the popular. We discuss the whether the why the stock options are becoming the popular. You have to give a point of his answers. Because most of the now employees are very much Infosys are very successful, and a lot of companies are there, share portion, portions are in the workers. That's why there is a workers' company. Infosys, the, the owner, they are declaring it is a owner, it is a workers' company, not my company, because most of the shares are distributed. So all the um, workers and the employees, they should feel, I am also a part of the owner of this company. So that feeling should be increased, that feeling should be there. That will be more advantage for them like this. So anyway, now how the stock options are currently treated for the tax purposes, the bonus, differences, wages. So I'm not going through the, all the questions is already tabulated in the your practice in the every unit you have some self assessment self assessment questions are there same things so you can also go through these uh, questions and you have to uh, find out the answer from the your study materials so that it will be all these things why i am showing all these things the questions will be coming based on this uh, assessment questions on it. So you have to sit out, you have to see this and take a preparation from them. Now, allowances, prerequisites and the benefits. So then uh, you see here um, uh, the downsizing. Because you see the downsizing is very crucial part. That decisions are uh, the company management taking. Considering all the factors, in one fine day, or they are not taking any quick decisions. It is maybe the committee decisions, maybe the report, and maybe the market pressures, future uh, strategy purposes. So, considering all these things, the you want downsizing our company decide. This is one of the parties VRS. That is a voluntary retirement scheme. So those who are 50 and above, company will offer to them, you okay, take this lump sum money and take a golden handshake. You can go, you can retire right now uh, and you can do your business or whatever the you want, you can do it. So that is the way you can reduce the manpower if really needed for the company for the survival mode. So VRS is one of the uh, options. And it is very successful also. Most of the banks, as you know, the various schemes, at time to time, as they have been uh, introduced and very successful, most of the banks, so that the freshers, newcomers can join. And that is the way vacancy can be created and uh, you can uh, reduce the unemployment situations also. But provided you have to see. The uh, profitability also you have to analyze the things before uh, go for the VRS systems. Skilled persons should not go out. If the, all the skilled, skilled persons are go out, then again it will be a problem. So what uh, will be created because the newcomers uh, cannot be fulfilled. The, their work, their, their experience cannot be fulfilled very easily. So it is a very Sticky analysis part is there. So cost and cost benefit analysis is very much needed before going for the BRSS. Um, uh, another part is the, the optimal, optimal utilizations are very much required because when the manpower is your uh, use or unproductive uh, matters are there or 
I do, I mean, maybe you want some of the sessions that I do, or maybe the project is not in your hand, sufficient project is not there. Then that is the time to analyze the things, uh, for the concepts and purposes. There are so many other reasons also there. Now you see the poor the employees before the uh, pre liberalization process. That time, um, the employees are feel some protected. They were they were feel some just protected because of the government take care, company take care things. But after the post liberalization, it has it has been observed that. Uh, the employees are feeling less, uh, you know, less protected. They feel the less protected. So that's why the and that's why the industrial disputes starts. As and because of that, the industrial act has been, uh, uh, I mean, uh, implemented, I mean, uh, formulated basically. So reason for the now you have to see the why the reason for the uh, downsizing. So downsizing reasons is basically your uh, you know, the structural changes required, changing the environment because of that, changing the technology and uh, ownership changes for the merger acquisitions and franchises joint venture because of that ownership changes because that's why the Downsizing part is coming. Then your you know, business process re-engineering because of that also. You know, outsourcing also because some of the workers are outsourcing because of the no competent employer in the within the organizations, not skilled enough. So because of that, um, company are giving the job for the outsourcing. Then the information technology because of the information technology. Are another reasons for the downsizing, the ERP and the SHAP is coming, Excel and advanced Excel systems will come. So maybe uh, that much manpower is may not be required. Another is uh, automations, and furthermore, you can see in future maybe you have to see the robotic systems because of the robot systems, maybe the further uh, cut down or the downsizing will be more. Because the uh, can do, but not all the areas, but most of the around 50 60 percent areas are uh, robot can perform the things. Only monitoring and supervising purpose, human is required. Definitely, human is required. Uh, 100 percent robotic system may not be possible, but still, the see the situation in future uh, what will happen. Another, uh, this is another uh, external part because of that. The reason internal uh, factory is also there for downsizing. That is your maybe may not be the uh, adequate that your um, the human resource, the planning are not adequate, not adequate uh, inadequate training. They are not skilled enough. They are not performing well or. Productivity here goes down. And another factor uh, that is a very crucial that is a no motivations. So that case uh, very difficult. So you have to go for the uh, your downsizings. Now question is how to how to avoid the restrictions on restriction on hiring the critical some. You can restrict for the hiring the employees. Improve your internal um, employees for training and retraining through these things. Reduce the work times. So this is the way, and counseling is definitely needed. This is the way you can some remedies are there. BRS is also definitely through this BRS also you can uh, downsizing the things. I can sum up the remedies. And uh, legal aspects definitely will be there before ERS or downsizing. You have to take some permission from the authority and negotiation 
the workers also and the union also so that it should have a good plan for the for the actions because downsizing actions uh, are not only you, you can do it you have to you have to do it by the discussion only. otherwise conflict will start or maybe they can go to the court or labor so you have to consider all the norms rule and regulation what are the laws are there act is there then you only have to finalize the list of uh, employees list by the discussion with the unions and the top management unions then you have to decide this is the condition of the company so that's why you are downsizing um, you are unable to continue uh, your, your business so this is, a, this is a process in the process then some of the questions may come short notes question or we are just considering the soft options then our notice should be there because you have to serve the notice also one fine day if you say you don't come tomorrow no you have to give them a notice at least one or two months you have to give it some chance so that they can uh, search the other jobs on the outside so some rules and things then uh, So case studies that they are that uh, uh, see the post now the question patterns change. Uh, I mean, you know, earlier it was uh, things. Some of the time of case studies are there. Case studies basically you have to story will be there, and after that a story you have to some question be there. Uh, question are related to some of the managerial. Uh, you have to answer to the managerial way. So because here the story is given, and then after that identify the assignment. Issues of the cases, some given lot of thing incentives problem are there in this case studies, and what are the additional um, schemes to be introduced? So here actually some of the things are given uh, silent features to go through the passage paragraphs and identify the things. That is the way you have to. What are the cases? But you have to first identify the things. That this is the cases. Then you have to answer the, how, what the best you can do it. Uh, can implement the bonus every year, provision for the contingency services, provision of the financial assistance. These are all other um, schemes you have to decide. It. The first questions was identify from the paragraphs what are the problems was there. Um, so. Then uh, you have to identify everything are found written in the paragraph itself about the company is following the incentive based production systems. Definitely, it will be written somewhere. So uh, we can just pick up. You have to go through this, read out twice, and then you have to list out first of the cases. The question I read the question identify the silent features of the case. So it is the one of the case as given. I have to silent features. You have to note down. And the second questions are. Given the, what are the additional schemes of the incentives that you suggest, so suggest the things. So okay, thank you very much. Thank you.